You can also bring it around here like this. Give a little rock to this way. You can also have them interlock with the wrist, okay? Compress. You can actually kind of lift them up too a little bit, okay? And again, you remember it's always a good idea for them to interlock, you interlock with the wrist. So especially if they do have a little wrist problems, it's a little bit easier then, okay? And you can also the top leg, so you can also obviously alternate them back and forth then too, okay? If you need to, you can place your foot. And alternating them this way too. Or you can take the bottom leg and do the same thing. So you can see this is really twisting the body then, okay? So the average American, again, you have to water it down a little bit or something that's not really flexible. Okay. Okay, next one with the knee. You can actually can place your hand right here. Just gonna rotate it around. You actually place your knee right here. And bring it out like this. So again, if any time you can actually just hold it for a stretch too if you want. It all depends what they want. But usually time massage, a little bit of movement. You see I'm kind of rocking the hip with my knee here, okay? Okay, next one. It's going to keep the leg totally straight, put them on their side still, okay? You can also just lift it up like this, then, okay? Okay, next one, right on the hip, okay? Just rotate it like this. If you want to, when you have this, you can actually push the shoulder down to get a little bit more of a stretch, too. Okay. Next one, you can actually place your foot where the glute region. Actually, you can give them a little pull. Or low back, and then we're going to cut the lumbar region and stretch them that way. Okay. If you have the top arm interlock, so you can do alternating back and forth then. Or you can have the top arm and bottom leg. Let's go back and forth then. Kind of we kind of did this one and they're in the prone position, face down. But this can be done on the side too then. Okay. Next one. You can bring the arm over the head like this, okay? You can just compress. You can also kind of rock too. Just be careful, some people are really ticklish, so try not to have your fingers too close to the axillary region. Okay, next one, you have the arm like this, just get a little traction, compressing. If you want, you can actually kind of push it down too. So whatever feels more comfortable. Okay, next one. Right here. Place your foot right here. Interlock. And you just actually kind of give a little pull this way then, okay? And if you want, you can actually compress, push on an area. Just make sure you balance. If you don't have any balance, you're going to have to alter these techniques a lot then, okay? Okay, next one, the arm just straight over the head like this and just compressing. You can also kind of rock and opposite too. Next one, bring it over here like this, bottom, okay? Kind of rocking the hips. You can 
and also kind of lift it up. Okay. You can also kind of move it like this too, okay? You can just place your foot underneath the low back. Lift it up. If you want, you can grab the bottom arm. 